Okay, real quick, coming around. So leave planners open. And then if you didn't already, get your math book out of the, or off of the shelf. Thank you. Preston planner. Trinity, can you focus? Put, write in your assignment first before you do anything else. I know you're trying to help, but write in your assignment anyways. Preston, what's going on? All right, did you write it in yet? Okay, I'll come back. Thank you, Carl, can I see yours? Thanks. <coughs> I'm gonna squeeze by. Coral, I'm gonna put a comma in for you. Huh? I'm gonna put a comma in for you so you don't think it's 910. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, real quick. Thank you. And then Jessica, I kinda need to come back. Since yours wasn't open. I'm peeking in here. Do you need a calculator? Yeah. Okay, give me a minute. Trinity, glasses. Okay. All right, make sure you bring them. Just says nine and ten. You're welcome. All right. Take out the worksheet that we were working on yesterday, the one we filled in all the tables, and then we started to put them in a graph form. So take that out. And then I'll get mine up. Okay, did you find yours? Yeah? Okay, so let's review a little bit. What did you do yesterday before we left it? Elijah, what did we do? We filled in these tables. What are these tables? The tables on, the, on this worksheet. Okay. And then we started graphing on okay. them and making our graph. All right, so uh, it should be okay. So if you can't find yours, hopefully a group member has one and then you can just look on. Okay. Um, you will need to answer a couple questions, so a piece of paper, Car Coraline, if you can't find it, okay? Um, we're going to get back in the same groups that we had yesterday. So remember, I put your three groups into a group of six. I combined you. Okay, so we're going to get back in those groups. And then I'll give you your big poster and your next job. So I want to kind of go over what we're going to do next so you can kind of see. Your next job is part two of the worksheet, which says for you to... Graph the functions. So you're going to take as a group, right, green or red, you're going to go ahead and take your functions and you're going to graph them according to the colors. Remember they're all color coded? Yep. Okay. So you're going to plot your points. We've checked all the points. They're all good. And then you're going to start graphing them. And then you're going to see something happening. And that's going to help you to answer the question number three, A and B. Okay, Corlin. Oh, are you in the same spots? Pretty much the same spot, so I'm going to kind of put one half of the groups on that side and the other half on this side. Okay. Any other questions right now? No. Okay. You don't have to move with all your things, but you can if you want to, because we're going to come back to this spot in a little bit. This isn't an all period thing, it's just do this part so we can do the next part. Okay. All right, so if you are in my groups B and D, the green groups, so you're going to be on this side like you were yesterday. If you are red groups, A. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, wherever we were yesterday. Let's go with that. Wherever we were yesterday. Go and get that, and I'll get you your posters. Okay, so you got to move the chairs around. If you want to put the tables together, you can. Just got to remember, we got to put them back when we're done. All right, I'm going to press in, putting your guys' stuff right behind you, okay? Okay, here is your poster. Thank you. And here are your markers. Okay. 
Ruler, are you sure you have enough space in this area? Can they yes. hear you when you're Okay, so That's the paper we'll use. Co make sure the color matches what it says on the paper. So and then you're going to graph so out each of those. Here. Here. Okay, Wait, thank you. Okay, you guys are set. Okay, so you're gonna, what color are you gonna do first? So check the colors. Oh, you're gonna do that first? Okay. And then you're gonna graph out the points, right? So work together, graph it. Okay, looking at our time, let's say seven minutes for this. I'm graphing all four. If we go faster, great. If not, that's okay too. So three would just have more Oops. There you go. Oh, there you go. You got it? Red, the first one was three, three. Uh, the slope is y equals x plus three. Mm -hmm. So y equals x plus 3. Negative 3, 0, negative 2. Right? Okay, I see what you guys are trying to, you guys are trying to do the shortcut method of graphing? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So would our slope be 1 then? Well, you tell me. Look at the equation. From the equation, oh, what's yeah. the slope? <laughs> so, yeah. up 1 and 2, right? Now. Yeah, but remember you're going by what numbers? Oh. Twos, right? Yes. So you got to be careful. So you're going to go up 1, which is just really a half and one to the right, which is just really a half, yeah. Okay. okay, nice and straight. So we can look at it. And what color is that supposed to be, Devis? Red. Okay, so Devis is in charge. Oh, pencil first, okay, good. When it's to the power of, it's, if it's to the power of two, it's, by, it's multiplied by itself. Like it says two, two power times two is negative is positive. Is positive. Oh, zero, zero. 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 Does that make sense, Trinity, what he said? Zero, zero. Yeah. So you say whenever you put something to the second power, it means to multiply it to itself two times. So that's what he was saying to you. And then he was telling you a negative times a negative, right? Is a positive. Okay. Wait, so negative three to the is second power is a straight line. line. Negative three You're to the I don't know, is it? Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. So you're okay right now. Keep yeah, going. See what happens. What's the next one? Okay, so zero, zero. Okay, so a few people have noticed something that's happening with this one. So are you the rest of you paying attention? Keep going. You're good. Okay, what's the next one, Serenity? Next is one, one. One, one. Oh, positive one, one. Okay. Okay, good. Two, four. Okay, so nine. think about what we just talked about. Three times three. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Meredith's saying, I don't see a straight line, and then Jacob and Micah noticed it too. So what is this doing? It's is that okay? Yeah. Is that still a function? Yeah. Okay, let's connect them. So you got to all just connect your points. Okay, how's it going over here? What did we get to? Is this one over two? Mm. Okay, so I, I know that you did the shortcut for this one, but I'm going to tell you that it's going to be better if you use the points in the graph, or in the yeah. table, excuse so me. I'll be like, so, so what's the first point? Negative three, um, negative negative three by ten. ten. Okay, so we're going to graph that point. So negative three, right there. negative oh, three, negative and then right up to... Ten. Okay, good. So right here. Uh-huh. Okay. And it was also three by ten. Oh, so we're gonna, are you going to do it on either side? Uh, no, no. First? In, in the equation, it says... You're right. So I was wondering, so you're kind of skipping around. You're going from here to here? And you're doing these two first? Yes. Okay, that's fine. But just make sure everybody knows what you guys are doing, okay? Yep. Okay. All right, what's the next one that you guys are going to go? The next one is negative two, which Whoa. would be... So it would be a straight line, then? Negative well, let's negative see what happens. So let's keep plotting negative the points. Negative two by five. Ne other way, negative two on the x. Negative 2 on x. And then what's the five. other? 5. Okay. Okay. 
And then? The last one is a uh, negative one by two. Negative one. So negative one. Other side. There you negative go. Negative one uh -huh. by two. two. Okay, that's not all of it, right? What else yeah, is there? Yeah, and there's zero equals one, one by two. One, two, okay. We made this stop bigger. And two We're going to put it in color, right? And, and just two by five. Yeah. How do we know which part is which? Two. It goes by, it goes by the numbers. Okay, so what do you notice about this one? It's curved. It's a V. Okay, is that okay? Is that still a function? Yes. yes. No, because yeah. okay, how do we know, Kiara, if it's a function or not? Oh, wait, never mind, never mind, because of, if it's a function. Okay, so is it okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's connect that with what color next? Uh, Good. Okay. Yep, you're correct. Okay, okay do, are we <laughs> fixing something? Did yeah. something happen? Yeah, we don't know. Okay, which, which one do we have help? On B. B. I'll do okay, oh, so zero negative one. Oh, if I put a zero one. in, everybody look at your oh. equation. It's what happens to the one. x part? It's one. It's zero, right? Yeah, it's zero. Okay, it's and then what's zero plus one? one. Okay, so it is zero one. I, no, so zero I, one. So one negative one. There, there's a negative one, negative one, it looks there's like. Negative one. Two, negative seven. Like, I thought they said one negative one. Wait, what? So I thought no. it was a one. Oh, yeah. Or one. Oh, I see. Negative what you're one. one. Okay. One. Okay. All right, is it okay? Yes. Something. One of the numbers is me. Okay, so do you see that this and this, this and this, this and this? So what are we missing? Right here. We just forgot to call it out. Okay, I like that you guys are putting arrows at the end of that. Okay. All right. Hmm. Curvy. Okay, let's try the next one. Uh, one, negative one, okay. and then uh, negative, two x. yeah, you see two x's actually, two x, two x's, so, uh, negative, uh, negative three, negative seven, two, remember going by two, that already uh, is going by twos, that, that isn't, that, that isn't, um, no, it doesn't say in the coordinates that four, so, ask Carl what he's reading and what you're reading, and see how they compare. Okay, so are we stuck again? I think negative one, negative one point five, or is it one point five? No, one point five. Negative one point five. Negative one, negative one point five. Okay, so. Well, we got my two, so see like one fourth of the square. Nine. Do the equation again. Four and a half. Yeah, let's do the equation again. Let's go back. So we're thinking which one is not right? No, but we know what negative one, negative one point five. Negative one, negative one point five. So if I put a one in, what's negative one squared? Um, you guys. Mm -hmm. I think you put it off a little bit. What's negative one squared? Anybody? One. One. Okay. What's half of one? One point five. Point five. And what's point five minus two? So, Preston, since you have the calculator, let's do that part. Negative What's okay, so 0.5, so 0.5 minus 2. So negative 1.5, so it seems to be okay. Is it not fitting in your graph? No, we just don't want to put 1.5. Oh, where to put it? We okay. two, so it'd be like... They messed up right here, they put in three. That's okay, we'll just we'll fix it. Okay, so let's try... Negative 1, negative 1.5, 1 so negative 1, and negative 2 is here, so we're just going to go a little bit of bit. That's, that would be negative 1. Negative 1.5-ish. 1. So the where the green dot is negative, negative 1, right? Is this one messed up? It's negative 2, 0. I think is okay. How about this one? Negative 3 and 2 and a half. No, I think that's okay. This is 2, that's more 3. It's supposed to be a positive, though. Negative two. It's supposed to be, oh, it's supposed to be a, negative negative two, two two. Oh, to be a positive. Oh. That's why it's off. Okay. So Good fix. Okay, fix that. Okay, it looks like we need just a little more time, so try and finish all four graphs. So this, so this, number Which two one? applies to this. Yes. Okay. Good? We got a graph. Is there exactly the same thing as ours, or do they have different numbers? I don't know. We're going to find out in a minute. All right. Roller. And then I need the black marker. Black is amazing. Black. Excuse me. Yep. Sorry. Right. Okay. Everybody's been checking, yeah. even though Elijah's been writing. Okay. 
Okay, is it working out now that you made the fix? You guys are taking turns. David, what yeah. part did you do? Uh, uh, Jay did the red, I did green. green. They're okay. doing blue in that, so they're going to do, wait, which one? Was that? Black. The black, black one? Okay. Okay, good? We'll check it against the ones that we've been doing. So does it look similar to what you did for the red and the green? Do you have things? It looks Do you see it? Okay, connect it and let's see. Maybe we can see it better when you connect it. Done? Sure. So now does it look similar? Yes. Near okay. turn. Okay, try the next one. You guys got one more and then we'll catch up and do the next part. Okay, you just, you guys finished all that? Yeah. I'm going to okay. draw the tables like they did. So, no, they did it a little different than you guys did. We're just, we're just coloring this. Okay, that's fine. What color do you guys want to do? Purple. I would say blue. Purple. We already used our blue. Orange. Orange. <laughs> okay, so somebody help David out. Negative two, negative 15. Negative two on X. Negative no. No. Maybe you'll need it for the next part. Negative three, negative three, negative eighteen. Negative two, negative thirteen. Okay, one at a time. One point at a time. I know. Okay. What are you reading? The first one. Oh, first one. Negative three, negative eighteen. Find negative three. Yeah, and then negative. Oh, don't put the point there. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, since you guys are done, why don't you look yeah. at question three? Question three. Okay, Actually, and then Corlin, did you find your paper? That's mine. Okay, you did find your paper. Okay, so look at that and then see if you can answer part A and part B. First question, what do the graphs have in common? Not yet. This graph or that? Yours, just yours. What do they have in common? And what do you, and then it asks which graph is different? And what looks different about it this is and the equation. Why, there's another graph. Well, you have four graphs on here, right? Because they're all different colors. Oh, That's how mean. I can tell. So how do they compare to each other? So wi what do the graphs have in common? They're That's the first thing. They're cross they're cross okay, you guys they're talk about it. They're all constant. Possibly. They are? They have to be to be functions. Because it says graph each function, so then these are all functions. They. That's true. Ooh, we know they're all functions. Smart. Okay, go care. Two I don't think this would be a then it's not a function, yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah, good. Okay. Is there anything else that they have in common that you can think of? So discuss as a group, and then don't forget to do part B, and then we're going to come back together as a whole group and look at each other's. Okay, how's it going over here with your last one? Good? Uh, ooh, ooh, let's reuse a ruler for this one. Okay, there is, I'm going to tell you there's something wrong with Yes, this I do one. see it, but they graphed it. Okay, so, <laughs> so let's, let's try this. Can I have a, can I have a pencil? Let me borrow a pencil. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so, um, so can you read me the points? And we're going to check points. 3, negative 18. Okay, so positive 3? I know, negative 3. Okay, so negative 3, negative 18. That looks okay. Okay, what's negative next? Two, negative 13. Negative 2, negative 13. That looks okay. Negative 1, negative 8. Negative 1, negative 8. All right. What's next? <laughs> 0, negative 3. 0. Are you sure it's a negative 3? Is that what everybody got? Yeah. That's what it put. Negative 13. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, so yeah, 0, negative, negative 3. Okay, yeah, so we're good right there. Okay, so we're going to. 1, 2. 1. Okay, so here's where we went wrong. Do you see why this point is wrong? It's supposed to be 1, 2. They went oh. 1. Okay, so let's keep going. What's the next point? Hmm. Two seven. Two seven. So we put the two seven here. Where's it supposed to go? Up here. Up. Okay, so go up. Miss Moore. Hey. Hmm. Study hall. Yeah, study hall. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Okay, better? Yes. Okay, can we use the ruler that Preston's holding for me?
Yeah, that's fine. You're just gonna. Um, okay. So Good. What we notice is that these two are positives and this one is negative. Okay, that's and true. And that one's a, a V. So we're looking for the one, which graph is completely different? Maybe I should add that adjective into it. Okay, so tell me that one. What? And then you're going to look at some more stuff about it. So it says, what's different about the graph and the what? And the equation. Okay, so let's look at that too for the green one. Okay, good? Okay, so your job now is to look at question number three as a group and have a discussion. So first question in question three says, what do the graphs have in common? Both cross the y intercept as Trinity said. Okay, that's a good idea. I see that happening. What else? They're somewhat proportional. There's a pattern. There's a pattern to them. Maybe that might be something you want to add. Okay. Pattern you saw in the... How did you see the pattern? So Jacob, here's a question for you. You said you saw a pattern. Where did you see the pattern at? They had a curve or they, cro they cross each other. So you said pattern. So what makes you think of a pattern? Um, they, they make loops. Okay. Like the red and blue. The dots are like lined up. But the black is Okay, so Mary, say that a little bit louder for everybody. The dots are lined up. Okay, so remember we were looking at how they're, she's calling them lined up. So maybe that's a pattern. Trinity, does that make sense? What they were saying about pattern? I also okay. have one. I also see a pattern that some of the, the some of the green and black lines, some of the lines are crossing each other. That's true. They are. What's another word for crossing each other? Intersect. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about the second part? You got lots for the first. So the second part says which graph is different? What looks different about the graph and the equation? So there's one that doesn't belong. So you guys talk about that. I'm going to step away. You guys talk. Okay, good? Yes. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'll get you band -aid. Um, uh, What did I want to say? Oh, you guys, we're going to go ahead and then we're going to show, because you guys had different graphs than they did. Okay, so we're going to share out and then you're going to explain the things that you found out in number three. Okay. Okay? Good. Okay. Elisha. I can't get to the band-aids right now. They're blocked by the camera tripod. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, so which one's different? The black one. Why? Because it's straight and the other ones are like oh. loops. Okay. And then what do you notice about the equation part of that? Blue is shorter, black is longer. This is true, but could I make the blue longer? Yes. Yeah. You, could. you have those arrows on it. It could keep going, right? Okay. So how about the second part of the question says, and the what? The heavy graph. The second part of B. Okay. The so what is different about the graph and the equation? Equation. So look at, if you said the black is different, look at your paper and look at the black equation it compared to all the other ones. It has to depend on the, B, the, B, the Y intercept and the equation and how much they're dividing or multiplying by. It might, but A doesn't have an intercept either. There's no plus B there. So why isn't the red one different than the other ones? So maybe it's not just the intercept. Maybe it's something else. It didn't have powers. It doesn't have, what do you mean it doesn't have powers? Well, it's the only equation without a power. What do you mean by but without a power? It, it doesn't have a power to the second power. It doesn't, doesn't go to the power two. All right, write that down. Oh, and then once you guys finish this, we're going to share out. So you guys had different graphs than the other group did. So you're going to share your picture, and then you're also going to talk about your answer to three. Okay? Got it. Okay. Okay, Elijah. Can I get you tea? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. It's on the side. You're making it neater. Can I take it to hang up? Yes. Yeah, because they're done, too. Yes, so Karen. What do we do while we're They're just about done, too, so we're all going to talk about it in a second. After Kiara comes back inside. Okay, you guys good with this one? Can I take it and hang it up? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you.
with your guys' on. Oh, Different? They are. Yes, Corlin. Okay. Can I get your attention? We're going to all look this way. So stay where you are, but just kind of turn your bodies if your back is facing me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you have to answer the question number three. So it says answer the following questions about the functions. So I put your graphs up, and we're going to take a look at them in a little bit. So what do the graphs have in common? Which graph is different? What looks different about the graph and the equation? So if you look at the two groups, okay, what do you notice about the graphs? So either in your own group or now that you're comparing two of them, what do you notice about the graphs? See, what do you notice? David? Oh, uh, the, the one from the other group are all, all the more straight and ours are like different, like curved and all. Okay, so this group had mostly straight, is what David noticed. And this group had mostly curved, because that's the group that he worked in. Okay, what else do you notice? Jacob, what else do you notice? We have one curved line and we have one straight. Okay, so then that kind of leads me to the second part of the question, which one is different for you guys? So which one was different for you guys? That we had one curved. One curved. What was the difference for you guys? One line. One straight one, right? One line. Okay. So what do you notice about the second part of it, the equation part? So what do you notice that's the different about the ones that were straight yeah. compared to the ones that were curved? Okay, Serenity, what do you notice? They probably had two, two second powers on ours, but they didn't have. Okay. They only had one. So is that the same thing? What did you guys write down? What was different about the equation? Uh, uh, only one of them was squared. Was squared. squared. So second power squared, all saying the same. What is being squared? Which part of the equation? The x multiplies it by itself. Right. So if we looked at it, it said that there was something with an x to the second power. All the ones that were straight just had an x. That's the difference between the two equations. Okay. When they're straight, do you remember what kind of function this is when they're nice and straight? Do you remember what the name of it is? Proportional. They are. It can be proportional. It can be constant. What else? A linear. Good, Micah. Say it a little bit louder for everybody here. Linear. Yeah, so they are linear. So these are linear. What do you think the curved ones are called then? Nonlinear. Ah, nonlinear. Okay, that's kind of what we're going to be focusing on today. Looking at what makes the, something linear, what makes them nonlinear. And you're able to graph them just by making a table of values. Okay, so we're going to do a quick cleanup and then we have something additional to do. We're going to do a little bit of notes. So you're going to move back to your seat. Turn back all the chairs, bring me the ruler, hold on to your paper. That group, you guys spread apart the tables. Preston, you want to bring me the Preston ruler? Markers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I had that on the warm up today. Thank you. Okay. Oh, watch out for everybody. Oh, oh, careful, careful. Be careful. careful. How well, that good chair get all the way over there? Oh, I, I got it. Oh, all right. That's his favorite chair. That's his favorite chair. Okay, we're going to start by taking everything that you did with the graphs and what you talked about in your small groups, and then we shared out and putting it in a formal notes section, okay? So, you need something to write with, preferably a pencil. Notebook. You will need your notebook. Yeah, so if you want to take out your notebooks, we're not ready to do that part yet, just yet. Can you make sure Mr. Shane gets one? We're gonna, you're gonna hold on to that. Oh, that one got cut off. Can, when you get yours, can you check it? I accidentally cut <coughs> some of them. Did I give you three? Thanks. Do you guys have four or five? Five. Okay. I accidentally cut some of them in half. Does anybody have a cut one? Someone does in our group. No, theirs looks okay. Oh, you have a. Oh, yours is okay though, because you have the hat top off. 
Okay, so we're going to take what we've been talking about and how can we compare them. So you told me already that you know the straight one is called what kind of function? Linear. Linear. And then the ones that are curved are called? Quadratic. Oh, you guys are reading off your paper already. But we said it was called? Nonlinear. Non oh, where's my graph? Okay, for some reason my graph isn't up here. I'm just going to put it up here then. It didn't get saved. Okay, so there it is. There are many nonlinear types of graphs. We've got looked at them, and we know that they're functions. They don't have to be this shape. What shape do you see when we look at these ones? Loop. V. A V or a loop. Okay, they're actually a U shape. It's called a parabola. Okay, so this actually curves down here. Okay, a different type of function makes it into a V. But these types of function with the X squared makes it into a U, a parabola. Those are called, as you can see on your Venn diagram, a quadratic function. Okay, so we're going to use a Venn diagram. Why do we use Venn diagrams? What are they for? Hey, okay, Carl. Yeah. Very good. To compare. That's basically what we're doing. So to compare and contrast, see what's similar, what's different. So in the middle go the what? The same things. The same things. And then for each one, we're going to put the different stuff. So somebody tell me something you know about either one of them or something that they have that's similar. And remember, I'm going to write upside down, so it might be a little messy. Okay, Carl. Linear equations are straight. Okay, so we're going to go to linear functions, and we're going to write that they are straight. Okay. All right, so linears are straight. Tavis, what do you want to say? Quadratics are curved. Very good. Okay, so we're going to go here, and quadratics are curved. Alright. Yeah, sure. If you want to fill in the middle, what's in the middle? They can both be functions. They're both functions, good. Hence the name functions underneath them. But they're both functions. They pass the function test. Okay? Vertical the, line that test. vertical line test. test. Good. So they can both intercept the y intercept. Y what's that called? Axis. A y axis. Sure. So they have y intercepts. Sorry, that's messy. Okay, what else? What else can you say about them? Is there well, any? For the quadratics, they, they go by squared. Okay, so what's get squared again? The, the x axis. The x, okay. So quadratic functions, their equation comes in the form y equals something with x squared. Just by x. So can we put that over there? Yes. So y equals x. What do you guys know the equation actually to be? Y, y equals mx plus b. Very good. Okay, I want to tell you that for quadratics, there are also coefficients or numbers in front of the x squared, and then we can also add things to it. But we'll just leave it as x squared for now. Okay, anything else that you want to add about linear and quadratic functions, or both? Corlin, what do you want to say? Never mind. If they both have y-intercepts, what else could they have? B. X-intercepts, X yeah. Not all the time, but I'm going to abbreviate that because I was messy in my spelling in the last one. Okay, so if I look at my pictures, not only do they cross the y-axis somewhere, but they also cross the x-axis. And the same is true, not all the time. Like, look at the green one, it didn't cross the x but they can, right? All right, anything else that you want to add? Okay, I'll give you a hint. What if you look at your tables? Can you tell me something about the difference between the tables of linear and the tables of nonlinear? What do you notice about those tables that we did? Okay, what do you want to say about the tables? Carl, what do you want to say? In the pattern of a quadratic function, uh, they are all in pattern, so negative 3, negative 3, it's, they are both 10. Okay, so if you look at the one that was quadratic, the curved one, the one with x squared, the pairs match. I think Meredith called them lining up. Remember when we were looking at it? You said that they line up. So they're basically what is called a mirror image of each other. So if I take this and fold it, 
they're going to match. And that's always going to be the case. So when you look at your table, you're always going to have matching pairs. What's a good way for us to describe that in here so we remember? What do you want to call them? Patterns. Reflections. I like that word. OK, let's put that there. So points are reflections. And I ran out of room, so I'm going to go outside my circle. As long as it's a straight line. So what makes it a straight line when we look at points? What do we have to know about those points? Um, or those, those patterns? Okay, Elijah, they have to be constant. constant. So remember when we were looking at it, what's the abbreviation for that constant? What's the letter we used to use? M. M is our slope, yeah. yeah. We also use what other letter, do you remember? Uh, to K, there it is, the constant K, the constant of proportionality, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be proportional, but it does have to be constant. Can we, I'm gonna add a little more to that. It has to have a constant rate of change. Since you mentioned slope, I'm gonna call it constant rate of change. Oh, I'm going into the wrong thing. Okay. So we have something about the equation, something about the graph, something about the table. Is there anything else that you want to add, either to, for differences or the same? Elijah. All the x values are the same in the table. Oh, that's true. We use all the x values that are the same. Do we have to, though? No. 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 We, can, we did in this case, so you can see a good picture of it, but we didn't have to. Is there anything else that you want to add? Okay, so I think we did a good job filling this in. This is gonna help you to do the homework for today. Okay, the keys are looking at the type of equation and noticing that they're different and you picked up on it right away because of the power. Okay, and remember this one is for quadratics. So if we, we, we can do other curves, and as long as this is bigger than one, it'll be a curve. What's the exponent over here? Uh, no, 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 it's we not don't, square. If we don't see one, what number is right here? One. One. So this has a one, and this is more than one, it's going to be curved. Okay, the other thing to remember is that this has a constant rate, while this one does not, and the points are reflections. And this is straight, and this is curved. Okay, all right, questions on that? All right, we're going to paste, so let me get the baskets passed out. Uh, help me out, what page are we on? We are... 43. Can you guys confirm? I only heard Elijah say it because so we can confirm. Right or left? Yeah, you can cut off the excess if you want to. We're going to go right. No, I'm sorry, left. No, wait, what do I want to say? I'm sorry, we, I, I do want to do the right. Can you give one to Mr. Shane, guys? Yeah, 43 then. Okay, so don't lose this then, and then make sure, and then we'll just paste it in later. I'm on 34. You're only on 34? Are you sure? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, maybe because you haven't been putting some of yours in. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and number up to 43, and then can we work on this during Monday action period? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, here you go. And then press and just put it in a safe place so we don't lose it. What this the top? 43. It doesn't actually matter. This is the only thing we're going to put in this section. So Elijah asked um, towards the top, and I said, it doesn't really matter. You can put it anywhere you want. I had to put mine in sideways because I didn't think to cut off the edge. So you can just put yours wherever you want. Corlin. Yeah, you can throw away your rubbish. Okay. Remember your five dot method, don't put too much glue. Some of your pages are starting to stick. Okay, once you do that, you throw away your trash, put the glue back together. We're done with the notes for right now. Okay, you can put that away. Okay. We're gonna look at the math book next, but give you everybody like a minute to finish gluing in. Um, I did this, but it says it's missing. Ye yes, because you didn't have all of it. Yes. Remember that one? Oh, you just did the rest of it? Okay, I'll check it right now. Okay, so... But this one 
Yes. That's okay. Yeah. Meredith, oh my God. Okay. I don't know whether like any other way. This way. If I connect these, oh. and I do the, do you see it? Yeah. So you know now we'll see why it's not. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually good. Point. Yeah. So be careful if there's two in a row. Okay, checking, checking. Okay, good. Otherwise, it's good. Okay, I'll put it in later today. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, let's look at the page I asked you to do for homework. So everybody has their math book? If you didn't get your math book, get off the shelf. Oh, are you right? Was there a bug in there? All right, press. <laughs> You're all right. We'll just shake it out. Oh, it's just a picture. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. Okay, what page are we on? 165. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and rip it out. Rip out your page 165. Did you already rip it out? Rip out your page. Okay. All right, I asked you to do 9 and 10. It's going to be very similar to what you did in your group work today. You're going to take the points, you're going to plot them, and then you're going to answer questions about it. And remember, the focus is linear and nonlinear. Okay? So you've got to look at the picture and answer questions dealing with that. Any questions I want you to do for homework? No. No? Yes? Yeah. No, just 9 and 10. No, just 9 and 10. You can start. You have something else. Okay, go put your book back on the shelf so that we don't have to worry about the bell ringing. It's not even on anyways. <laughs> you guys are right. I'm not much in my. He was I am not. The worksheet that you did with your group, you're going to hold on to that. It's going to be like a study tool for your homework. Uh, no, I'm going to leave out for just a second. Okay, we have a couple minutes. So we went a little faster than I thought. You guys were quick to pick up. Oh, it's okay. Is it a B? Oh, it's okay. Yeah, you were like, Okay. Since we have a couple minutes, we ended a little bit earlier. You guys were pretty quick to figure it out. I'm going to put up linear or nonlinear, and then you're going to tell me linear and nonlinear. So we'll do it this way. If you think it's linear, you're going to hold up and put an L with your fingers. Okay? If you think it's nonlinear, hold up the other side where it's not an L. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Your right hand makes the L to me. Okay, your left hand makes the L to yourself, so it would be not an L to me. Okay, got that? So right hand L if it's linear, left hand not an L if it's nonlinear. Okay, ready? Okay, here's the first one. Is this linear or nonlinear? Linear or nonlinear? Okay, hold up your L or not L. L is right hand, not L is left hand. Hold up your right hand if you think it's linear. Can we just do like you say linear and then we raise our hand? I guess we could. I thought it'd be kind of fun to hold up L's though. Okay, <laughs> am I confusing you with the L's? Okay, no. good. How do you know that this is linear? How do you know? Carl, how do you know? It is not it is linear because it does not contain the square x. Okay, so it doesn't have an exponent that's bigger than one. one. So okay, how about linear. this one? Oh, this is linear, yes. Okay, how about if I draw a picture? Linear or nonlinear? Linear or nonlinear? 
Okay, so confusing else. Let's do hands instead. How many think this is linear? How many say this is nonlinear? Okay. How do you know, Jessica? How do you know this is nonlinear? Preston. No, it doesn't have to pass through the thing. Okay. You were just here just now? I mean, like. Okay. All right. Micah, help her out. Why is this not linear? It's not straight. If it has a curve, it's not linear. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, do your homework this weekend. I'll see you on Monday.